How are you all? All doing good? Had your breakfast? It's fine. Okay. Good. Happy to know that everyone is doing good. Everyone is fine. Uh, the count of corona uh, victims of okay, corona patients is increasing day by day. I hope you all are watching the news. Uh, so please, please be very, very careful. Don't go out. Uh, avoid going out totally. Right? So it's like how it was there, uh, how it was uh, during the last year in the month of March, April. So somewhat the same kind of scenario is going to happen. So please be very careful until the things are uh, declared safe. Don't come out. Okay. I'm doing good. Thank you. Uh, just expecting everyone to be good and uh, please be very careful. Eat lots and lots of fruits and vegetables. Improve your immunity. Boost up your immunity. Uh, you can also have uh, some multivitamin syrups or uh, tablets to improve your immunity, okay? And if you're going out to play, come back, take bath and change your clothes, okay? So be very careful, right? So exam marks, I cannot tell you here, okay? So you'll get it maybe through your report card or uh, maybe i'll see i'll ask ma'am and i'll tell you maybe after next week okay so now don't ask me about the marks a report b report b okay a report card in a sense you get the report card no so it's for after the summative assistant fee maybe we'll see after uh, the next week if possible i'll ask ma'am and then i'll tell you otherwise it's not possible okay Okay, so today what we are going to do is we are going to learn GK. Please take your GK book because last class, during the GK class, we learned science. We didn't do uh, GK. We have got lots to finish in GK as we have only one period once in a week, right? So I thought we'll start GK today. Please take your GK book. My pages are coming off from my GK book. Okay, did you all play that game which is there in your book? You have the pictures of the famous personalities and their details. Did you try playing that game with your siblings? So we have to do page number 31. So please write down today's date, page number 31. And that's how it is here. Page number 31. The world of books. The world of The world of books. Books are categorized under many names. Find out the different types of books below. So you have the different types of books given and you want to see the names. Okay. So the first one, the, the a thesaurus is a book organized to show words of similar meanings. A thesaurus is a book organized to show words of similar meanings. So this book will help you to find the synonyms. Okay, so you will find the uh, words of similar meanings. Thesaurus. Next, dictionary. We all have dictionary and I hope everybody knows to use a dictionary. Right? Right? A dictionary is where you find where you would find an alphabetical list of words and their meanings. So starting from A to Z, you have uh, the words like uh, A, A, then uh, uh, words starting from A, B, A, C, A, D, A, E. So that is how it goes, okay? So alphabetical order, A to Z, you have all the words in the dictionary and you can find the meaning from the dictionary. So earlier, like now you can, easy if your work has become easy you can just go and google out and check the meaning right but when we were studying in school we everybody used to carry a dictionary and uh, while learning english literature and all english uh, we we will we will always refer uh, difficult terms okay uh, we would refer the dictionary so a dictionary is where you would find an alphabetical list of 
of words and their meanings. Actually, that is also a kind of good activity, you know, sit and uh, go through the dictionaries for some five minutes. Searching for a word, you will end up searching for uh, at least uh, seven to eight new words. You will come to uh, know about seven to eight new words. Because when we go and search one word, we'll, go and we'll obviously see what's there on the top, what's there before that word, what's after that word. And uh, you become curious, you know, to learn what is the meaning of this word, what is this, what is that. So it's actually a good, good uh, activity to do. By that way, you will learn new words. <laughs> Next, encyclopedia. A book or a set of books. This, I think, it's, it's there in our school library also. You would have seen uh, in our school library. A book or a set of books which have detailed information on various topics. So the various topics will be covered in the encyclopedia. Using in alphabetical order is an encyclopedia. So uh, there are uh, different sets. So each set, uh, different different uh, topics are covered and you have a detailed information about different topics that is what is encyclopedia next is glossary a glossary is a list of words and phrases Use in a particular subject area, put in alphabetical order. Okay, so you will have uh, words or phrases used in a subject area. So if there's a book, um, maybe if you go to college and all, you'll come to know. I mean, when you get into college, uh, you'll come to know. You'll have books for a particular subject area, like uh, if it is biochemistry, totally into biochemistry. So you'll have the glossary in the beginning. Uh, you will have the content, words, phrases, and all, and that will make your work easy. And the page numbers will be mentioned, and you can go and check the content. Next, novel. A novel involves a work of fiction with imaginary characters. So, novels, there are many authors who write novels. So, it's all like imaginary things, fictions, sometimes facts. So I think we have come across books and I suggested you people to read books. Yes, did we come across a topic called uh, about authors or something? Was it you or some other class? Let me just check it. I have suggested you people to read books, no? Okay, okay. Okay, so a novel is a work of fiction. Imagine things okay so the person who writes even even maybe you would have those talents so you can do that so you can think imagine like okay if this thing comes may a beautiful village with uh, a different types of trees a beautiful stream flowing i mean it's all uh, uh, an imaginary thing and a play of words so you have to think and write okay you become a member in library so you're reading more books very good Bhavadharmi. good keep it up uh, that's a very good thing which you have done. Becoming a member of the library and reading books is excellent work. So if you have started reading, you will come to know that how people write in different ways, how how imaginations like uh, play a role. I mean, you sometimes we make fun, no, when someone imagines something. But yes, see, there are people who imagine things and write stories. Okay, so if you are interested, you can also write like short stories, small stories. Okay, so maybe one day you will become an expert in that. Yes, it is for everyone. Everybody uh, start reading uh, books. By reading books, you will come to, uh, you will learn more and more new words. You will learn how to uh, put your thoughts into sentences. Okay. Next, a very interesting book. A favorite book of most of us, right? 
everybody loves to go and i mean go through the atlas right where is this place in uh, uh, where is this country in which part of the world right what is the capital of this place how is the train route or the water route right a neighboring countries all those things through atlas we learn so many things a book of maps showing the physical characteristics and political boundaries of countries is an atlas yes so the physical characteristics how it is is it uh, a dry land a desert uh, tropical forest all these things with all the information you get in the atlas so a very very interesting book so actually atlas is a very interesting book if you uh, if you uh, have to gift your friend something for the birthday instead of buying something which he is not going to use you can buy and give atlas just a suggestion okay which will be very useful and atlas is something which nobody will throw or even if it is torn off or even it is worn out uh an autobiography is book on the life of a person autobiography biography is writing about someone autobiography is auto is self so writing about yourself so if i'm writing about myself my story okay so it becomes autobiography if you are writing about me it's biography on deepika right so autobiography is book on the life of person written by himself or herself auto biography okay autobiography a book on the life of a person written by himself or herself life story next one an annual book of dates and events is called an almanac 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 is an annual publication listing a set of uh, events forthcoming in the next year. It includes information like weather forecast, timetables, and all. So a picture is given. See, Almanac is an annual publication, meaning the whole year's plan, uh, events, what all events are going to happen. Everything will be given in the Almanac. Uh, an annual book. Annual is for the whole year. book of dates and events is called an almanac so whatever is going to happen in that whole year the list of events forthcoming in the year which includes even weather forecasting time table okay so these are all the different uh books that are categorized under many names and we have learned about these things this can be asked uh, Uh, in your GK exam, like I would give you the picture of a dictionary, and I would ask what is it, or maybe I would ask uh, a dash is where you find an alphabetical list of words and their meanings, and options will be given. You will have to tell the correct answer. Dictionary, okay. So this is very easy, okay. A thesaurus is a book uh, organized to show words of similar meaning. So if you have to find the synonyms, you can. This is the book you have to refer. then dictionary alphabetical list of words with their meaning so in the alphabetical order a to z you will have all the words with the meaning and even in some dictionaries they uh, the, the oxford dictionary they mention if it is a noun verb adjective all those things they will mention okay encyclopedia encyclopedia is a book or a set of books which has detailed information about various topics okay which comes in alphabetical order so various topics will be covered and in alphabetical order the information or the details will be given in the encyclopedia glossary is a list of words and phrases in a particular subject area okay so particular subject area you will have the list of words and phrases in alphabetical order novel novel is a uh, is a book which Uh, is a work of fiction imaginary things imaginary characteristics okay atlas a book of maps showing the physical characteristics and political boundaries of countries next an autobiography a life story of
flatly is the collection and okay. yes uh, flatly is the collection and study of postage stamps it is popular hobby among people so this is a very popular hobby i don't know how many of you are interested but uh, maybe uh, your parents ask them during their school time most of the uh, children's uh, very very interesting very common hobby was to collect stamps yes so uh, the name philately is the collection and study of postage stamps so a uh, very interesting word which we have learned today uh, so underline that it can be asked as an objective it's the collection and study of postage stamps it is popular hobby among people in 1973 bhutan issued a group of postage stamps that played their folk songs and national anthem when put on a record player oh bus tickets bus tickets of different places Okay, in nineteen seventy three, Bhutan issued a see interesting thing. Bhutan issued a group of postage stamps that were played on record player and which played their folk songs and national anthem. How interesting, no? In sixteen ninety three, in order to find out the amount of money that should be charged for the shipping and delivery of a mail, also known as postage rate. the method of candling was used letters were held in front of a candle the less the light shone through the more costly the postage rate would be oh another interesting thing see in 1963 uh, how did they collect the postage rate that means the charges for shipping and delivery so uh, using candling method they used to lit the candle and the letters were held in front of the candle the less the light shown through so the, the less the light shown through the more costly the package would be so the more the light would shown the more would be uh, uh, i mean the less would be the cost so depend uh, it totally depended on the light shining through the letters interesting that happened in 1693 then 1973 bhutan issued the postage stamp that played their folk songs and national anthem and it was uh, played on a record player next uk is the only region in the world that uh, that displays the profile of the monarch instead of the country's name on its postage stamps the universal postal union allows this because britain was the first country to issue stamps so why uh, they are allowing it the universal postal union is allowing uk uh, to